Yo, what is up YouTube? It is Jug here and today I'm going to be coming at you guys with the full Ghost and Skulls 2 tutorial. Now I do want to give a massive shout out to just another UK gamer. He supplied me with half of this gameplay for the tutorial and I really do want you guys to go check him out and give him some love because I really do appreciate him letting me use this because I've been trying all day just to get the last few skulls and it just hasn't been working for me. So massive shout out to him, big credit to him and anyway guys, let's get straight into this tutorial. So our first step is going to be getting killed with traps. Now, if you guys go and look over at the Ghost and Skulls machine, you can see that on machine it does in fact say 1992. Now there are four different traps around the maps and we have to get four different amounts of kills with these traps. Now 1992 links back to the amount of trap kills we need so we need one trap kill for the first trap, nine kills for the second trap, another nine kills for the third trap and two kills for the last. So the first trap is going to be the giant log swing trap and you have to get one kill with that trap and then you can go and move on to the next one. The next trap is the wood chipper trap over near the rave area and you just have to go and get nine kills with this trap and then you can move over onto the next trap. So our next trap is the one over near the rave area, the big speakers, and again, you have to get nine kills. So make sure you guys are getting the right amount of kills because otherwise you will have to restart the game because you have failed that skull. And as you can see here, me and Greg, we get the nine kills once again. So the final trap you have to get kills with is the waterfall trap. And once you've got two kills with the waterfall trap, you have to wait for the trap to be finished before you can get the skull. And as you can see up on screen now, we have the first goal and we have completed that first step. So for our next step, we're going to have to go another round. And once we have gone into that new round, we're going to have to go into rave mode. Once you are in rave mode, go up to the ghost and skulls machine and have a look at the machine. And there should be some sort of symbol on there with the letter S inside of it. All you have to do is aim in until the symbol expands. And then you have to run around the map and look in a few different locations for the symbol that matches it. So I have seen a few guys already that have said that there are only a few spawn locations and I'm not too sure about these symbol spawn locations. They're a bit up in the air at the moment. So I'm gonna give you guys all 10 possible locations anyway, just in case. So our first spawn location is in the urinal in the mess hall. As you can see, it's just in this window. Our second location is within the power room. As you can see again, it's just in another zombie spawn. Our third location is in the camp and it's just in this cabin right here and it's right at the back. Our fourth location is in the rave area, just on the tree. As you can see, it's facing the kind of slope area. Our fifth location is on a bit of hay in the archery shooting range. Our sixth location is in the surfing shop down at the beach. Our seventh location is in the frog slash sewer area. As you walk out of the pipe, it's to your left. Our eighth location is in the fisherman shop on the counter. Our ninth location is on the roof in the little boathouse area. And our tenth location is in this little window in Kevin's hut. So once you've aimed in at both of the matching symbols, you are ready to move on to the third step. And the first step is going down into the power room and playing on the game in there which is throwing the knife at the zombie and there should be a skull that has spawned just underneath the zombie and all you have to do is get that skull on your first throwing knife and it should spawn on the machine so for the fourth skull again you will be having to go into rave mode and it's to do with the 10 locations that we did have for the symbols we're going to be going around the map and spelling out the word skull so I'm going to put the symbols that you need up on the screen right now to spell out the word skull. So if you guys want to pause it and take note or anything, you can do now. Then anyway guys, let's move on to the next skull. So our next step, you're going to be having to ride the boat. So once you have got onto the boat, you'll start to see a load of skulls appearing within the map. You know, when you're riding across to the island, you just have to shoot a certain number of skulls. And once you've shot enough, you will hear the sound that you've got the fifth skull and you're ready to move on to the very last one. So the final score, all you guys are gonna have to do is have the upgraded lightning bow. And if you don't know already, there are loads of tutorials out there so you guys can go and do that for yourself. But anyway, as soon as you've done that, all you have to do is run up to the machine and shoot it with your bow and it'll spark and the skull will be up on the machine for you guys. So once you get into Ghosts and Skulls, it is noticeably different to the one in Zombies in Spaceland and it is definitely a lot harder. It's actually very easy on four player. So I would recommend doing Ghosts and Skulls on four player because you have to assign a different person to each color. Now there are gonna be four different colors that spawn and you just have to keep matching them up to the correct color. However, sometimes your skulls will turn around and you will have to remember where the correct color skulls are so you can put the ghost onto there. But anyway guys, that is going to be my full tutorial. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Also make sure to go and check out just another UK gamer. He was very, very kind to let me use some of his gameplay for this. Anyway guys, I've got to get going. Hopefully I can catch you in the stream tonight and that's gonna to be everything. Peace.